What's going on guys? It's been a minute since I've filmed anything and got a video up. We're going to try it today. Um, it's getting dark here. I brought some uh, chicken from the store. We're going to see if we can get this eaten. See if this is bait. Alright, I'm going to try to keep this pretty quick. Uh, here's my rods. I've got uh, Casking Cat Tech rods. I really like these. A cap stand 300 from Casking. Alright, I'm going to try not to waste any time. It's getting dark. Uh, I'm going to get some baits on and get them on out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them out. Just chunk the chicken. Up there. Give them a rub over. Hurt. Same deal here. Perfect. Get them out. Get them a rub over. And the last one. I'll throw it down. the back of my kayak for this one. Alrighty guys, we got baits out and we're just gonna sit here and wait and let it go dark and uh, see if we can get somebody to eat that chicken that we bought from the store. Something picking it up. Check that out. It's not me. And that's on the chicken. I bet y'all are doubting me by now, but guess what? I was the one that's right. Let's we'll see if we can catch it though. They're getting taken. I think I'm going to go ahead and set on this one. I'm just going to tighten down and let him take out the line. And once it gets tight, I'm going to go ahead and set. Getting there, getting there, getting there. Drop the rod tip. I'm on, pull tight. Real slow. That's what it looks like when you get a run around here in Texas in freshwater. I think we're going to go ahead and try on this fish. So far, I've been losing a lot of bait and been getting a lot of slow, small runs, which it's still really cold. This morning it was like 38 degrees or something when I woke up, so I'm not that surprised that they don't want to feed, you know, that aggressively, but they still bite, so we're going we're gonna to give it a good shot. i got one running right here on this one. He's just really, really slow. I don't know if it's a small long nose or it could be a turtle. Try on this. I'm just going to ease into it real slow. Let it go tight and I'm gonna set. Yeah, I got it, I got it, yes, yes. I'm gonna go this way. You gotta go left, left bud. Oh, it's a gar, nice. He's not huge, but he's a, he's a gar. All right, my other rod's getting wrecked right now. Come on, Gar. You gotta come over here. You're not going that way. Oh, look at that. All right, I gotta make sure I don't lose too much line on this other one. I gotta go get him off my other line. Oh, no, he's all in it. Let's see if I can get him out of there. 
Alright. Here's my little guy. I got him unwrapped from the other rods. That was my bad. I shouldn't have done that. He's still got a little around him, but I'll get it off. I'm bring him over here close to my bag. I'll leave him about right there. Hang on, buddy. I'm gonna get that hook out of you and send you on home, okay? Oh, you're strong. Yep, right about there. Let me grab my bag, my phone, all that good stuff. Hey, 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 hey. All right, guys, there it is, second guard of the year. Um, I'm gonna say a little under four foot, but still pretty, pretty stinking cool. I'm gonna get a video for TikTok real quick. Can you believe that? End of February, gator guard. Pretty good one, too. Be really, really pretty. Check out some of these details. All right guys, that fish was a little bit hard to deal with. I had to untangle her from my other rods, but there she is. She's probably about 40 pounds. Awesome little fish, she gave me a good fight. She's really tired and cold, so I'm gonna push her back out into deep water. And what do you know, I caught fish on bait that I bought from the store. It's pretty crazy, really. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and release her. There we go, I'm gonna grab it like this, pull her on out, just send her on into deep water, give her a couple little touches, make sure she's all right. Yeah, there she goes. You see her tail going, she's releasing some air. Wow! Woo! Yeah, I decided to make a fire. It's actually super cold out here. The temperature's dropping really quick. I've got to run, <clears throat> but yeah, I think it's probably about 55 degrees right now, and then the next, 30 minutes it should probably drop another 10 degrees so I'll try to get a fire going if I'm gonna stay out here get a little heat going on getting an insane run about to be out I got it! I got it! It is a fish. It's gotta be a gar with the way it ran. I don't feel it though, like, it's just swimming at me. It's getting heavier and heavier. This is kinda scary. What are you? I'm just dragging it, whatever it is. You catfish? That's a catfish. Huh. Look at that. That's a pretty good catfish too. Look at that dude. I got the fire going and everything for you guy. I'll cook you up and do a catch and cook, right?
All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. There we go. Yeah, you, that's sun chicken. That's a decent cat too, look at him. I'd eat the crap out of that for a hungry little blue cat. I'm gonna send him off. Oh, wrong way. There you go. See you later, buddy. All right, guys. Uh, used up all my bait. I've got two out, but I think I'm gonna uh, probably pack them on up and get on out of here. It is really, really cold right now. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. Um, temperatures are dropping here in the next like two hours. You can see my breath. In like two hours, it's gonna be 40 degrees or less. So. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get my baits off and pack on up and go ahead and head back on to my truck. I really appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Um, new video is gonna be out in a couple days. Thank you.